Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Learn with Dr. G. That's me. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the resources that Microsoft offers for you to learn, grow, and find your community. I'm really excited because either next week, if you're watching this now or already, if you're watching this in the future, um, I get a chance to chat with Pablo Veramendi, who is the director of student programs here at Microsoft. Um, he happens to be like on my team and I just love to see the types of things he works on. In particular, he works on the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program and the Imagine Cup Hackathon, which I wanna intro to you now, but if you don't know about it, you should definitely check out my interview with Pablo because he's going to tell me all about it, give me some example projects that people have submitted. And we're even gonna explore some of the actual code that goes behind some of these hackathon projects. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you wanna watch that, head over to aka.ms slash learn with Dr. G slash hackathons. And if you're watching this before the event happens, it'll take you to the page where you can remind yourself about the event. And if you're watching this afterwards, it'll take you to the recording. So like I said, Microsoft has a number of programs and offerings to help you, the more novice learner or person who is just getting into tech, find your community and find resources to continue your coding journey. And today I wanna to tell you about a few of them. So like I said, Pablo leads the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program. This is a program that supports students on their journey to solve real world problems with peers just like them. It creates opportunities for those students to become mentors and leaders within their communities. And it provides an online community, training, certifications, and even practical challenges to help them develop the technical skills and emotional intelligence that they need to succeed. If you're currently a student anywhere around the world, I highly recommend that you check out this program. You can head over to studentambassadors.microsoft.com to find out more information. I really love the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador program. I actually work with student ambassadors often. I've collaborated with them on workshops, conference talks, and even events held at their universities. These students are really amazing. And recently we onboarded another cohort of students. Um, I'll let you take a look. Thanks for applying for the program. We're really impressed with what you sent us out. We just wanted to follow up with a couple questions. Yeah, for sure. It's cool, no problem. <laughs> sure, yeah. Great. How do you see yourself as a tech leader now? I don't see myself as a tech leader at the moment. And that's exactly why I want to join this program to improve that. I feel like I could get to help others. One day you have an idea and the next day that can revolutionize someone's life. And I'd love to be the one that puts people down that path. I want to help millions of persons with possibility to learn about various technologies. I'm empowering the other generations to join technology and to believe in the change that it can make to the world. I believe in teamwork and I came to know that I can really lead a team. We are inviting you to the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador her program. Are you, are you, yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Oh great, thank you. I'm so excited, really. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in. What I love about this program is that we get a diverse group of students from all around the world. We help them develop the skills to become leaders and mentors within their community. And we provide support so that they can discover their passions and how technology can help them pursue them even more. What's really neat about the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program is that it reminds me of another program that Microsoft has, but for professionals. The Microsoft MVP, or Most Valuable Professional Award, is awarded to professionals who've not only established themselves as exceptional in a particular technology, but also as exceptional community leaders. Microsoft MVPs are all around the world and they have expertise in a number of different technologies. And what's really great is that they care about growing their own communities. I've gotten a chance to get feedback from MVPs on workshops that I've run and attend workshops put on by MVPs. So whether you're a student who's currently looking to become an ambassador or a professional who might be looking to become an MVP, I highly encourage you to check out these programs. But how might you continue to develop your technical skills? We've talked a lot on the show about different Microsoft Learn modules and how we can use our non-technical passions and our technical skills to create solutions. 
And there's one type of event that really highlights developing those skills. And those are hackathons. If you haven't heard of hackathons before, basically they're events put on where basically they're events that have specific topics or technology areas, or sometimes are open-ended. They're typically on a specific timeline, sometimes only being 24 literal hours, and they're often collaborative. Microsoft hosts a huge, huge, huge student hackathon called the Imagine Cup every single year. Students who participate in the Imagine Cup not only further develop their technical skills, but they work on real problems that affect communities all around the world. Here's a little sneak peek into the Imagine Cup from last year. I think it was just so fantastic to see a variety of backgrounds represented and just understanding how global this competition is. We are putting resources to build a smaller device. They're the ones ensuring that the patients do the proper exercises. This enables Alois to offer a complete therapy. Using facial recognition actually solves both these issues. We started in a place where we weren't really sure if we should. Is this an idea worthwhile to to present and whatnot? And I think any idea is worthwhile as long as you believe in it and you know you're you're giving back to the people that you're trying to help. So as long as anybody has that kind of idea, then it's worth pursuing. I completely agree. If you have an idea that is going to help someone, then it's worth pursuing. And the Imagine Cup really inspires that. It inspires failing forward. It inspires persistence. It inspires trying things that you don't even know if they're possible. And that's what I really, really love about the Imagine Cup. And I can't wait to chat with Pablo about that a little bit more. And if you're not a student, don't worry. We have challenges that happen all the time here at Microsoft. One example is the Microsoft Cloud Skills Challenges. There are a number of Cloud Skills Challenges that we offer throughout the year that are tied to different types of technologies. The goal here is to try something that you've never done before. We have tutorials, learn modules, videos, and even prizes for people who complete the Cloud Skills Challenges. So whether you're a university student who's applying for the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program or applying for the Imagine Cup Hackathon, or you're a professional who's putting your hat in the ring for an MVP award, or a novice looking to develop new skills and participating in the Microsoft Cloud Skills Challenge, there are a number of ways that you can challenge yourself and develop your new skills. And these are just four examples that Microsoft offers that I think truly embody the learning journey. So I highly encourage you to check out other ones. Before we end, I do wanna leave you with a couple of additional resources that might be useful for you. On Microsoft Learn, we have curated a specific set of Microsoft Learn modules and learning paths that we think are particularly good for students. Now you don't have to be in some official school program to be considered a student here on Microsoft Learn. You could just be someone who's interested in learning. We've identified some Microsoft Learn content that we think is great for those very first steps into new programming languages or new topics. For example, we have some intros to Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, as well as some of our themed content, like our content that was inspired by NASA. So I encourage you to go on to aka.ms slash learnwithdrg slash students to find all of this curated content. And last but not least, events, conferences. Whether they're in person or online, there are a number of ways to engage with your community and learn at the same time. Conferences are a great way to do that. For example, in 2020, Microsoft Build had their conference completely online for the first time ever. And as part of that, we also had a specific set of talks that were geared specifically for novices or students. You can check them out at aka.ms slash learnwithdrg slash buildwithstudents. What was really neat about all of these talks was the diverse group of speakers that we had. For example, InstaFluff made an appearance helping us learn a little bit about GitHub and artificial intelligence. Scott Hanselman helped us take our first steps with C Sharp. And some Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors gave us an intro into how to succeed in hackathons. So if you've been inspired to try out a hackathon for the first time, you might want to check out this video first. 
Following Build, we also had Microsoft Ignite completely online. And during that conference, we also had a set of, of, of talks that were specifically around an intro to tech skills. Again, here you can find a variety of topics from introductions to new programming languages to introductions to the cloud. If you go to myignite.microsoft.com slash learning dash zone, you'll find all of these talks and be able to watch them online. And finally, we recently had a conference called Start Dev Change, where all of the talks were specifically targeted for those of us who might be newer to tech. So whether you're looking for inspiring stories from folks who have switched careers into tech, looking for an intro to new programming languages or to different dev tools, we have all of the talks recorded for this conference and associated learn modules for you to follow along and continue your learning journey. So whether you're a student, a professional, a career changer, or someone who's just interested in solving a problem and you think tech might be able to help, I highly encourage you to check out all of these different resources that Microsoft offers and look for other ones that might be in your area too. And don't forget to check out my interview with Pablo by heading over to aka.ms slash learn with Dr. G slash hackathons. And as always, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Dr. Guthles or hashtag learn with Dr. G to share with me some of your wins. If you tried out a hackathon or if you completed a cloud skills challenge or you just watched one of the conference videos, let me know. I want to hear about your coding journey, your learning journey, and the passions that drive you to learning new technical skills. Happy coding, everyone.